Hi there YouTube, uh, today I'm going to be installing this uh, MNPV6 combiner that I got shipped to me. Uh, it's made by Midnight Solar Products. Uh, you get the box and uh, these guys that go into the fuse holders and uh, clamp to go into the bar and a set of instructions and of course the box. In the box um, you got to pry open and it comes uh, with this piece right in front like that. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now this is not any fun to get out. Uh, basically there's little tabs in the bottom here and they're going to stick down there in the, in the bottom and then you have to uh, grab a hold of like right here and pull that out and uh, just uh, get ready to sacrifice a little skin to the cause. That's what happened to me. Anyhow, uh, it should be pretty easy to put back in though. And then it comes with a uh, ground bar and then uh, like here's where your green wire would go. Another ground earth to ground bar. And then this comes with the rail mount. And I actually have uh, three circuit breakers that I ordered at the same time. But they did not show up on the same day or in the same box with this guy. So I'm just getting started here and uh, doing the prep work I can. But basically what I want to do is uh, hook my two solar arrays that I have set up uh, through this box and then I'll be able to run heavier wiring to my uh, uh, controller and I'm hoping that it will improve my power production a little bit. Also, uh, these instructions that come with it, my advice is to immediately uh, just go to Midnight's website. They have the instructions on their website and the, it's crystal clear there's a lot of pictures in here that you're going to want to look at and inside of here and they're in the this reproduction is terrible uh, but uh, if you go to the website it's it's crystal clear you can easily see what it is that you want to see so uh, I guess use this as a reference when you're out in the installing it uh, but go ahead and read it on the website first that would be my advice so today I went ahead and I installed uh, this piece of car particle board right here and that's actually a leftover piece from when I took the bed out of the front of my camper and this box right here is the uh, combiner box and then right over here I'm installing a, a sub box and uh, this circuit on the left is going to go to my camper and then this 15 amp right here I'm going to install an outlet in here so if I want to uh, plug in something else or run a wire to the house if we lose power at the house I can do that and then uh, I, I still got to finish wiring that up uh, but I'm s slowly getting done um, this part right here wasn't too bad uh, it gave me a chance to neaten up my cables a little bit so I'm pretty happy about that and here we go with the faceplate back on and all I got to do is put the screw back in and I'm sealed up and ready to go. This little Hummer right here is the Whizbang Junior and it basically performs the same function as this battery monitor does for the uh, inverter only it does it for the uh, Midnight 200 and a variety of their other units. And the way this is supposed to mount is it goes in here right onto those same screw holes uh, oops, this wire is in the way that you see the blue and the orange wire the problem is now that I got all these wires in here that guy has to fit right inside of this little piece right here and it is so tight in there there's no way I'm going to get that in so basically um, I'm just going to do without that feature of my charge controller. I pretty much get all that information from uh, the MagnaSign unit anyways. But uh, yeah, if you want to install one of these guys, you want to make that the first thing you do before you start wiring all this other stuff together because it is a real bear to get in there once you start adding wires. Well, I got myself backed up as far as I can. I can't zoom out anymore, but anyhow, I got my cover on my... Uh, MMP and my covers on my fuse panel and I got a bolt in my bottom of that cover right there 
I put an outlet in right here. Uh, that way if I lose power in the house I can run a cord uh, from the truck to the house. And then the other thing is, um, well, I was going to hook up that whiz bang and then I was going to put a, a wireless Wi-Fi extender in there and uh, on Midnight's website they show you how you can hook up that to your charge controller and then you can get a, uh, they got a pretty cool app that you can see everything on your computer without having to run out here and look at it in the wherever your uh, thing's at. But um, anyhow, I'm still probably going to do that. I don't know what's going to happen without the whiz-bang attached, but I'll still be able to get most of the readings that I have on here right now. And I'll be able to see them inside, so not making a lot of power right now, only 3.2 amps. Still pretty early in the day. Still got to tidy my cords up down there a little bit. But uh, otherwise I think it's coming along and I'm not too unhappy. Uh, I got quick disconnects right there so I can unplug the panels that are on top of the camper if I need to drive my truck. And then uh, there's some more right up on top on the outside. I got to tidy that up too. But those can disconnect and I can take those panels off. So thanks for watching.